everyone welcome to our small footprint if you're new here we are a family of eight who live off grid in australia if you've been watching then you know what's going on it's time for a monthly supply run so i have been in brisbane for the last couple of days my mum had an appointment yesterday so i stayed for an extra day to take her to an appointment um, and have done most of the shopping today so i've already been everywhere so far and I'm now about an hour and a 20 from home and I'm just taking a pit stop to go to the bathroom and stuff so I did some Woolworths on Wednesday Thursday Thursday yesterday um, they had no dried pasta on the shelves or anything so I grabbed a few things there but there was a fair bit that I couldn't get I did a click and collect for Coles to pick up some of those missing items and a trip into Aldi as well for some stuff there. Aldi had very limited rice milk so um, we'll need another trip and they had no hamburger buns either we were going to do hamburgers one night and whilst I can make hamburger buns the brioche buns from Aldi are always a nice treat. I did end up getting some from Costco but they're a large bun and we much prefer the smaller one but we will need more rice milk but i think daryl has to go into toowoomba at some point next week anyway and there's an aldi in there or the kids have a dentist appointment in warwick i think so he might go there to the aldi and grab some more rice milk so i'm all done other than that so i've just got to head home so did the fruit and veg shop as well and costco and that's all done now and i am just yeah last hour and a half of the drive to go and just needed five minutes break and to grab some water and to go to the bathroom so we haven't done too bad on timing let me check what the time is it is 20 to 4 so that's good it's okay in summer because it's still going to be well and truly daylight by the time i get home and we're unpacking and stuff in winter i'm running a bit late for that because it's dark by like five o'clock in the afternoon so by the time i get home we are unpacking in the dark and that sort of thing and that's never fun and the temperature drops drastically at that point so i need to try and work out a way to do it a bit earlier in winter but for um, summer and this trip timing is doing well so i should probably keep going i just thought i'd stop and do a quick intro and get that sorted before i get home and then i'll try and record all the unpacking and stuff again as well Alrighty, I'll be back. Alrighty, groceries for February. Uh, I did a bit of a stock up on a few things that because the car broke down, we didn't get to shops. It's been almost six weeks since we last shopped and we went through a lot of our dry goods because we didn't have a whole lot of options. So we ate a lot of stuff that we wouldn't normally go through as quickly. So we have here six honey. We have six macaroni. We've got 10 spirals and probably a dozen spaghetti. I'd have to count them, but that'd be around about what we've got. Four of the blueberry jam, two peanut butter, four pesto, some semolina. The coffee was on special at Coles, two for $20. So I got four of the whole bean coffees. I got 
four packets of Wheat Bix, the Coles Home Brand and Coles Brand, four packets of rice bubbles, four packets of corn flakes. We got rice milk, but there was only about 17 available, so we're gonna have to get some more of them throughout the month. Uh, I'm almost at the bottom of my sugar after my all my canning recently, so I bought um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 kilos, probably there might be one missing, probably about 20 kilos of just raw sugar. Two jars of molasses for turning my raw sugar into brown sugar. We got six cans, six or seven cans of uh, tin pineapple for kids for their pizzas. And then we've got four bottles of pineapple juice for canning our zucchini into mock pineapple and six apple juice here as well. We, I ordered some hot dog rolls from Coles for dinner tonight because we always have hot dogs on shopping night and this is what they've given me so we will make do with those. We also got some nappy pants like normal. The Grant's toothpaste is what we use because it's SLS free and we have some SLS allergies and it was 40% off so it was only a dollar 17 I think each. There's another whitening one somewhere because I bought three of each of those because of the price. Some shampoo, more toothbrushes, dish detergent and laundry detergent and just a multi-purpose spray. We ran out of rice cakes completely because of the lack of groceries so I got 12 of the rice cakes and I bought 16 of the rice crackers. The kids requested some nachos this month for meals so I bought some of these tortilla chips. We got toilet paper, got a new refillable lighter because the lighters in town that we keep on buying aren't refillable so we have to throw them once they run out. Some scouring pads, some rice bran oil for which we use mostly for frying or popcorn and some more olive oil. On this side we bought a tray of coconut cream and a tray of corn like we normally do. A couple of the coconut cream that we use for our coffee. Uh, Aldi didn't have any hamburger buns so I just got the Costco ones. We don't normally get them because they're quite large. We prefer the smaller buns from Aldi but it's just a once off meal for the month. I got four packs of the tortillas from uh, Costco just a pack of paper towel for general use. The lemon juice at Costco this month is six one liters. So that's what I grabbed because I use a lot of it with my canning anyway. And then I grabbed 20 bags of the rolled oats. So they're a 750 gram, I think. Um, and that'll give us 15 kilos odd because we had used most of that through um, have not being able to shop as well and it's coming into the cooler weather and we eat a lot more porridge in the cooler weather as well. Alrighty, cold stuff and meat. Okay, we got four packs of the lunch meat, the ham, two packs of salami and some of the pepperoni for pizzas, which I'll split up and put in the freezer. We've got a pork belly because we're going to make some of our own bacon and Daryl wants to make some pork belly burgers so we're going to do that. Another silver side which we're going to make some more pastrami out of. Two of our normal rolled pork roasts that we make sausages and mince and stuff out of. Chicken breasts and thighs were back again which was great. So I got four of the breasts uh, $8.99 a kilo and four of the thighs at $9.99 a kilo and we will I won't focus on that for you there we go and we will sort them out and freeze them. Bacon, um, I think I got eight bacons here, uh, one kilo packs. Uh, this is just whatever the cheapest middle bacon is through Coles and Woolworths. Um, I got some from each. I got one pack of the mints, so it's four kilos of the beef mints, a parmesan and two pizza cheeses. These are just mine, they go in the freezer for pizza nights just because I'm the only one who eats cheese. Uh, Daryl requested some ribs and these ones were on special instead so I bought these pre-made ones for an easy meal. We got one bag of frozen berries, we've still got mangoes in the freezer and I got bananas cheap this month so I didn't buy any more frozen bananas, just a milk for the kefir, a bag of whiting, some noodles for 
uh, a couple of meals so we buy I buy five packs of noodles which is two meals for the kids and one for Daryl and I at some point his favorite marinated anchovies I bought some puff pastry some frozen roti these are really nice these are the dough is raw and they're individually wrapped and they cook up really nicely got two packs of the skinless franks for hot dogs and just some frozen veggies the peas carrots corn and then the standard winter veggies as well from the fruit and veg store this month what was cheap still was stone fruit so we've got some cheap peaches and nectarines these were i want to say two dollars a kilo i'll check pricing when i uh, do it up. I just bought half a celery that we just use for stock that just goes in the freezer to use for stock. A cheap box of tomatoes because our plants have stopped producing and this will just bump up our shelf stock. Some cucumbers, mushrooms and some baby spinach. We will start growing cucumbers and spinach and lettuce in that shortly now that it's starting to cool down but we can't grow it in the middle of summer when it's too hot. We have two cheap cauliflowers and some cheap broccoli that I bought and that'll just be fresh veggies for the first few meals for us and we got carrots so these are three kilo packs and I bought um, three of them I think I bought more than that but there's three here anyway so these carrots are just from Costco I find them convenient they're only a dollar a kilo at Costco which is a good price and then potatoes were on special now we've finished eating all our potatoes from the garden fresh we've still got plenty canned obviously but um, the fresh ones we haven't these were I can't remember what they were per bag but it worked out at 59 cents a kilo and these are the really nice red washed potatoes so I grabbed four bags of those for this month as well I got this uh, learning time clock on clearance at Aldi to help with some of our smaller ones who have trouble uh, with standard analog clock faces so we'll give that a go we also got a box of apples these are um, fresh season apples but not quite in abundance so these were quite expensive they were about three dollars a kilo uh, next month he said he should have some really cheap ones so I can be able to buy a few boxes and we can can some apple pie filling and things with that with those so I'm looking forward to that bananas were cheap however so I bought two boxes like this um, and that was I want to say dollar fifty dollar seventy a kilo it ended up being per for the bananas so I'm going to cut slice a lot of these up and freeze them for smoothies and smoothie pops and they'll eat some and I'll make smoothie and I'll make banana bread and things like that also got two bags of the baker's flour that I always get the two the twelve and a half kilo bags to top up our tubs of flour Alrighty, so home and mostly unpacked. It's almost 6 p.m. So we're getting the small boys in the bath and we will start hot dogs shortly and have dinner. So uh, I'll put up on the screen how much I spent at each place because I haven't got the dockets on me. They're in the car, I think, in my uh, belt that I wear while I'm doing my groceries. And um, so I'm pretty sure I came under budget. My budget for a month is about $1,400, though it has been six weeks since we shopped and I did buy a few extra bits and pieces to stock up, some extra pasta and all that sort of thing. There's no way that we use that much pasta in a month. And I think that last month I didn't buy any dried pasta at all. So we were still using the stuff from previous that we'd stocked up a little bit. So now I'm replacing that stock just in case there's, you know, it, it showed being stuck without a car and not being able to go shopping showed us what we use when we have to use whatever's around and we do a lot of soups with pasta and a lot of bolognese because there's always plenty of mints and bolognese around and things like that so we used that up a fair bit um, we went through a fair bit of flour making bread and things and that sort of stuff too so it gave us an idea of what we use when we have to just eat from our shelves so that's probably a good thing so I also got the extra box of bananas and things like that but I still think I came under in under the 1400 I'll double check but I'll put the numbers up on the screen so you can see and I think there's been some questions about how I use everything and a bit more of how we do our day-to-day -day life rather than just me sharing the uh, construction or, or put together of each recipe and stuff. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and log some of the days in the kitchen of how I process and put away and use all of these items and, and collate it into videos. The only problem with that sort of video is that it takes a lot longer to edit because there's a lot more content that I'm condensing that's suitable for a video. So I will see how I go and try and get a little bit more of the day-to-day -day type stuff and share that. Uh, we also, the solar array behind me here, we also got the inverter 
in the mail for that before I left so we're going to get that hooked up so that we can use that solar array as well um, and get some of our irrigation going that we have be, had turned off for a little bit because the grey water irrigation was running from a cord across to the house and we had some issues with it so I have noticed that while I was gone because I'm the one who normally waters and checks the gardens and things like that that my tromoncino plant appears to have died which is unfortunate because it's only got two fruit on it but can't do much about it um, so I will have to do that also have to process those tomatoes that I bought and I'm going to start a whole bunch of seedlings over the next two weeks or so so I will bring you along for that as well so if you have any questions please be sure to ask them and I will answer all the comments that are left and if you have any queries on things that you'd like to see please do that too we have a lot of projects planned now that the weather is starting to cool down that was very very hot today um, but we need to uh, split the chickens and the ducks up so we need to extend the chicken pen and split them up we're also looking to get a sow to put boss over so we're going to need a second pig pen so that we can have the sow in it we can remove boss and then she can farrow in that in that pen so we're going to have to build that as well and we're trying to organize a way to take the chickens to clear some of these weeds and that um, so some movable tractor type things to get them to eat some of these weeds for us so that we have less work to do. So we'll be doing all of that and I'll be bringing you along. But for today, that was our monthly shopping haul and I will now spend the next two weeks sorting it out. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more from our life here off grid, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, I, I'm not sure how many people are aware uh, and whilst I'm not doing this to make a fortune I'm doing it to share and for the community and all that making an income from it would be helpful to our family and you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours before you can monetize your channel so every subscriber and any watch of any video is helpful to move towards that goal so if you know someone who might be interested please let them know about the channel so they can subscribe as well that would be really appreciated uh, and if you want to follow me on Instagram I put quite a lot of day-to-day -day store stuff videos and and snapshots up in the stories there because it's a lot simpler to share those sorts of things with my phone as I'm doing it than it is to film it to make into YouTube videos now I need do need to get better with that I do need to get better with bringing the camera with me places and uh, taking footage and then using that footage to make up content because people are interested it's just still a learning process so we will get there but anyway I've rabbited on enough I'm avoiding making dinner maybe somebody else will if I'm not in the kitchen and I will see you next time thanks guys